Lobster, it might be a really daunting ingredient to use because it's so expensive, but I'm going to show you how to use the lobster tails to make this incredible show-stopping dish with a little bit of help from this Yum Yum seasoning by Dim Sim Lim. Totally inspired by him, by his new product, I'm going to cook garlic butter lobster tails. Let's crack on. Right, with these lobster tails, we've got them just here, they're defrosted, um, or the fresh ones, but we've got to remove the legs. So just using a pair of really good sharp kitchen scissors, we're just going to nip off each of the legs, like so. And then you, sometimes these are cut already, but you just want to cut off these little bits on the side because they can be really, really sharp and you definitely don't want to bite down onto that and get a sharp piece of shell in your mouth. So we just chop them off. Or you can use a cleaver and just lob them off. Now with the tails, you can just twist them off like so or cut them. So they're not going to add anything to the dish. Now I can save all these little bits and bobs later to make a lobster oil. And next up, you just want to get your scissors and just cut down the middle to open up the lobster tail. Like so. Or if you've got a sharp enough knife, just cut down the middle. But cutting it with the scissors really helps it along. Then next up, you want to just ch cut them into smaller pieces so that you, you don't get too big a piece of in your mouth. <clears throat> now I'm using lobster tails instead of a whole lobster because I found these in our fishmonger and they were just begging to be bought and turned into this dish. I think lobster can be quite daunting to a lot of people because obviously it's quite it's a, a live crustacean but you can get these use these frozen lobster tails and it's a lot less faffy, a lot less hassle than preparing a live lobster. So all of this can be done ahead if you're cooking this for like a dinner party or something. The lobster tail, that's where the best bit of the meat is. That's the star of the show of the lobster anyway. So this is gonna be an absolute treat, this dish. The lobster tails are all prepped now, but we just need to dust it with a little bit of corn flour. We've got some oil on that we're going to deep fry and this corn flour is gonna help get a nice crisp and gonna give it a good coat all over that lobster so it doesn't dry out too quickly when you fry it. That's plenty. All right, the next part, we coated the lobster tail in that corn flour. Now you can do this in a wok or in a pan like this and I've heat up some vegetable oil or rapeseed oil. Yep, that's uh, raging hot like my husband. We're going to deep fry these really, really quickly until they've got a nice golden color on them. So in they go. Please be careful when you're frying like this because it's gonna be hot and it will spit a little bit because there's gonna be moisture in that lobster tail. And this is essentially the hardest part of the cooking. And they're done and just onto a tray to drain any excess oil and I'm going to finish cooking them all off. I'm doing them in batches so that they don't cool down that heat of the oil too quickly so otherwise they'll just end up quite oily rather than deep fried and coated nicely. Now if you're using the whole lobster you would fry the head and the legs after this. Fab, those are done. Before they Cool down though, I'm gonna give them like a little quick seasoning. Now there's all left to do is put the dish together. So I've chopped up some garlic, sliced some ginger, and we're just gonna cut up some spring onions just by lobbing the hairy bits off the roots. And then just keep them pretty chunky. We all love it chunky, less work. And then maybe into like two, three inches like so, and that's that. Let's cook. 
Now, if I had a lot more time to prepare this dish, I would use a infused lobster oil to fry the base of this dish in. But instead, I'm gonna use some of that fried oil that we used earlier for crisping up that lobster. Now, to make lobster oil, I would use the carcasses, the shell of the lobster, and just infuse it real slow and slow with that oil until it gets this lovely hue. We used to do it in our restaurants all the time. Right. In goes our garlic and ginger. So I want to give it a nice saute. Keep it moving. They're already cooked, so they won't need too much. You just want to make sure they're well coated in that cooked garlic. Chinese wine. Extra bonuses for making it loud and noisy. Chicken stock. Now, I'm gonna go with some yum yum. Spring onions. And then a little bit, a little bit of potato starch to thicken. It's saucy, we all love it saucy. If you're at using noodles, I would add that in now. Or pour this on top of your noodles. That's done. It smells so good in here. It definitely is gonna be yum yum. having regrets not having some noodles or rice right now to dip into this but this looks amazing oh, wow look at that that is a bowl of heaven on earth I mean I don't know what could top this right now this is luxurious this is a one-of-a-kind treat and it's definitely yum yum. Thank you Dim Sim Lim for sending me some of your umami seasoning. This smells so incredible, I cannot wait to tuck in. It was so simple to put together and I know this is going to be a real showstopper on the dinner table tonight. I cannot wait to tuck in. I hope you enjoy this video. Please do give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button if you're not a subscriber already. And I better dash off, I've got another collab video to do with Uncle Roger. This is for my family. I better make some moves. Catch you next week, guys. Bye. It's like a little golden nugget of heaven. Mmm. Also, the best bit is you can suck that shell, all that flavor that's stuck onto there. Mm. Suck that dry. Yeah. Yum. Yum. Yum, yum. <laughs>